Hello everyone and I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another episode of Extinct Breaks Originals. And for this episode of Extinct Breaks Minis, we will be featuring the LEGO compatible custom Extinct Breaks Stylusin or otherwise known as the Tasmanian Tiger. But before we get a move on, I would like to thank YouTube.com Audio Library for this awesome background music. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on my social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube of course. I do have a new account on Leica so please follow me there as well as ExtinctBreaks underscore Breaks. Thanks everyone! This is only currently available in the Philippines but please support my Leica account by sending me Leica gems. Thanks everyone! The guesses PC contest winners will be announced at the end of the video but first, here is how you can join. Click on the Extinct Bricks icon and then click on the community link to see all my posts. Have fun in guessing the next PC for Extinct Bricks. In 1936, the Tasmanian Wolf is actually declared as extinct. Alright, so let's proceed with the making of the thylacine. For the thylacine costume, there is actually minimal um, modifications as to the shape and also sculpture of this uh, particular animal. Uh, most of the work is actually on the painting. The base figure that I use for this is a Lego doll. The base colors I use for the thylacine is actually a light yellow ochre color with a little bit of yellow to it. And um, it actually is a very similar to a what a lion would actually be looking like in terms of colors. Now there are certain um, shading in the neck uh, which is darker in its sense and also lighter colors in the uh, areas of the face as well as the legs of this particular creature. Then I waited for the base colors to dry before I moved on with using this permanent pen inserting details of the face including this nose tip and also the eyes of the thylacine. One tip I can provide you would be to always measure up uh, the eyes where it will be going so that it will be symmetrical meaning before you even use your pen on uh, on this particular detail do uh, make certain uh, assumptions or at least uh, marks where the eyes will go all right so after those particular details are then moved on with placing the uh, infamous stripes of the Tasmanian tiger for which it is more commonly known for it is also known as the Tasmanian wolf because of its canid-like characteristics. Various aboriginal Tasmanian names have been recorded such as Kuwina, Kanuna, Heber Wantnen, or and others. Okay, so moving on, the stripes is actually the more distinguishing feature of this uh, creature. So I try my best to really uh, straighten up the lines and, you know, uh, make this as uh, symmetrical as that of the contralateral side. In addition to the painting, I wanted it to be true to its um, classification, so I'm adding in a pouch on its belly, marking it as a marsupial. And that ends our the making for Tylosine. We will be moving on with a closer look. And for the closer look, here is EB and he's actually excited that he will be joining me to present the Tylosine or the Tasmanian Wolf or the Tasmanian Tiger. <laughs> Most of you probably already know that I have uh, two little puppies, Moira and Asher, and uh, that is also one of the reasons why I wanted to make a Tasmanian Devil because he's technically looking like a dog. So as per size, it's uh, quite a little bigger than the usual, but I'm really liking it because it's still true to its uh, look. So it has this one stud on it, and although it doesn't have any articulations to it, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So it has this uh, infamous stripes on its back and uh, the tail is really flexible. It's made out of rubber and it has this particular pouch on its uh, belly. So it has this really small hole here and it actually moves until the first half of the abdomen of this particular creature. The colors of the yellows are well demarcated and I like the way it looks. Alright, so let's move on with the next portion of this video, the size comparisons. 
And I'm bringing back Ivy here and you can see here that uh, the Tasmanian wolf or Tasmanian tiger is just about the right size as that of the human being. Okay, so moving on with the size comparisons, I will be comparing it with other megafauna creatures of its size. So here we have the dodo, so it's a little bit taller than that of the Tasmanian wolf. Uh, however, the Tasmanian wolf is a little bit longer than that of the dodo. Okay, so let's move on to the next comparison. Here is the quagga. The quagga is bigger than the thylacine, however, they both have stripes, so it's just nice to see them both together. Okay, so moving on with the next size comparisons, let's just bring out the camera a bit because we're bringing in the forest rakers. Of course, the forest rakers is a lot bigger than that of the thylacine and it can actually uh, be one of its prey uh, for the forest rakers such as this one. Yeah. <laughs> Poor thylacine. However, the forest rakers isn't actually the main reason why the thylacine is actually extinct. It's more of the human poachers that were actually the reason for its demise. And moving on with one of its uh, megafauna creatures also found in uh, Australia, this is the Megalania. <laughs> I don't know if Megalania really is a uh, part of the ecosystem when the Tasmanian wolf is already around. So, But however, the Megalania is actually existent when uh, the local aborigines of Australia were actually uh, in existence already. And that's about it for our size comparisons and of course Evie here is with the Tasmanian wolf and he will be bringing back the others here. So we have the dodo and the others. They are actually available in video. Please watch their videos as well in Extinct Breaks playlist. I would like to hear more of your comments and suggestions on the next megafauna creatures that I will be um, introducing. Of course Evie here is excited but first let us have a quick roll call. Let's put him here and then let's start. This is the Forest Rakers, Megalania, My Quagga, the Dodo, and of course the Tasmanian Wolf or the Thylacine. It's almost end of the video and we are going to move on with the last looks. The thylacine or the Tasmanian tiger or wolf actually came from the Greek words tulakos meaning horn and inus meaning pertaining to. The thylacine lived in the Pleistocene to Holocene period around 2 to 0.0001 million years ago and is part of the thylacinidae family. It would grow up to a length of 51 inches and would weigh around 29 kilograms. Uh, Usher, Evie, and also Moira here is petting the thylacine. They think it's a dog maybe. But hey, be careful, it might have rabies. And that's it for the video on the thylacine. I hope you like it as much as I did. We are now about to announce the Guest of PC Contest winners. But first, we have 10 lucky picks, and here they are Timo Mado, Paris Cantana Ismail, Ben Zhu, Parkersaurus, Deji Volex. Xenomorph 636, The Extinct Airplane, Carter Meadows, Renz Gilera, and Om Dom. Congratulations everyone! And now for Top 10 winners! Top 10! Top 10! Top 9! Top 8! Hong Tan! Top 7! Top 6! Tibo Malikarachi! Top 5 Glorious Permana Top 4 Focus to Ostriches Top 3 Miguel Philip Ison Top 2 Jerome Khan And Top GCL. 1 Congratulations everyone Now see you on the next Guess PC Contest Also our babies Moira and Asher has their own vlog now The Adventures of Moira and Asher Please watch their videos and support their channel by subscribing Thanks everyone and as we always would say, let your inner dino break roar!